Sunderland will make his second career start while Taylor and Campana lead the front line. Former club in Inner Miami. These are the players to watch presented by RBC Well. Great calendar will need to shake that one off as it is still scoreless in the 13th minute. And that a wonderful opportunity missed by CF Montreal to go up on the road. Lasseter, another dangerous one in. They score anyway. Montreal opens the scoring away from home. They have been road warriors to begin this season. 90 seconds ago, this is from the other side, but an in-swinging ball again. And the Colombian under 20 is quicker than every inner Miami player to that ball. And a textbook header down away from the goalkeeper. What a fantastic start for Montreal on the road here in South Florida. Later, the ball's played sooner or whatever. They, they've had a few opportunities getting in behind. And I think that's what Tata Martino is going to say going into the break. This is one for Gressel. Good ball. Taylor! So close for Inter Miami again through Robert Taylor. That are on this roster, it is remarkable to me at how good, clean, and efficient Robert Taylor is as a footballer. Every little touch is simple with a purpose, with the goal in mind. Last year, tore it up in League's Cup, introduced himself to the world here on Apple TV. Today, just unlucky that touch. Taylor slides it, Sunderland. Sunderland floating it, back post, over Sirwa, and in! Campana! They needed the final ball to be on point. It was delivered, what a ball in, and to the guy that's got 22 goals. How many times have you and I done an inner Miami game, if you don't take your chances, they will come back to haunt you. Thursday night, Alex Muil could have had four goals. Schwanier for Montreal. Oh! They do get the lead right back off the set piece. It's Kokoro. His first goal for Montreal, just like that. CF Montreal ahead again, two to one. It delivery with the right pace. Now Kokoro, he's behind his defender, but at the top of that screen, there's an inner Miami player and David Ruiz that ultimately looks like he keeps Kokoro in an onside position but Dre Callender left in no man's land if you come off your line you've got to win the ball but because of the pace of this delivery just any kind of touch and it's 2-1 Montreal set pieces again kill Inter Miami home or away it doesn't matter they struggle oh. how do you balance that if you're Montreal you have to have composure and the ability to complete passes. And look at this, you're in. Here they go. Martinez, a chance against his former team. Martinez leaves it. Deflection. And then Ibrahim, Montreal, lead by two, three to one. All it takes, two or three combined passes, you're in. Now, Ferreira does a good job, along with Allen, to slow down Joseph Martinez. But where are the other inner miami numbers? They're nowhere to be found. And with the first touch for Ibrahim coming into the game, it's the left foot little deflection. And these are the chances you have to put away when you go up against inner miami Montreal, only three wins in the last 19 games away from Quebec. Majors have their second win in a row. Awkward from Wanyama and not clear. Busquets to Gomez. Now Allen clipping it. High in the air from Juan. Gomez, Corbo both there. This is Jordi Alba! Oh, what a goal from Jordi Alba! And Inter Miami is right back in it. Three to two. And Inter Miami saying, hang on a minute. There's 10 plus minutes left. It's 3-2. There's numbers for Montreal if they can go forward. Allen showing off his pace, keeping up with Juan Oh, and then taking him down. Surely a yellow card for Noah Allen for stopping the promising attack. Seventh yellow card of the match. Juan made this run 
in his six years in Major League Soccer, solo, by himself, no one.